Right, so we are back at the old cottage conversion. <laughs> the scaffold didn't go up. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's just for them. So what I'm going to be doing today is putting the lintels on. And that's about it. So I've got a band of bricks to go around the inside to take me to 2100. And I think Joyce is pretty much sitting on that. And then on the outside, I've got coarser block, coarser brick. And I might put a coarser block over the lintels. So let's just get on with it. I can't believe the scaffold didn't go up. Hey, yes, mate. Good day. Sound. You on it? Yeah, of course we'll. I'll have vote, I will. <laughs> yeah, spot on. Yeah, just leave it there, mate, and I'll have it in a bit. Alright. Take us call between us. Sound. How's your mum problem? Did you get them all? Did I, yeah, I haven't got them all. Yeah. You've been outdone by them all. Right, make sure my lintel sits nice and I'll put a slightly bigger bed on that side. And hopefully it'll be level across, which is what we want. Let's have a look. Oh, it's not going to be level across. Mm. How big of a bed can I get away with? Better. Right, so we're just saying that way. Sand. Now my lintel will sit nicely on there. get that with a bed. Let's have a look. It's not too bad. This one though. Yeah, it's what's that? Five mil. Yeah, it's literally a couple of mil. That's not too bad at all. Sand, right, lintels. Last time I didn't put bed under my lintel, everyone went mental. Ideally, a lintel would want to have 150mm bearing on the side of 
you reveal. You decide if you're able to do it. Gently put her on. Make sure you've got equal distance on either side. About five mil. Check the bearing. One eighty. One eight five. That's good. Check it for level. All right, so I've just put my trays on. Uh, something I like to do when putting uh, lintels on, I put a bit of weight on the back of each lintel because if you run this through without any weight on the back, they kind of want to tip forward and we've all probably been there. I, I know I have, uh, it's shit. So put a bit of weight on the back to uh, mitigate that. Uh, I've got an upstand there for where the moisture's going to come down and out. I'm waiting to see where my upstand's going to be here. Same goes there. And I've just got a little upstand there. So we're going to get this in, put our wee poles in. And yeah, easy. And then we're going to move down there. So when laying across these lintels, you don't want to be bashing them down. That bashing your blocks or bricks down. So you want to have a quite a tight bed and you want to pull the bed away from the back of the lintel so you don't push your block over. Just to show you, so I've got about 150 upstand there, wee pole, wee pole, wee pole, wee pole, and then I've got my other from upstand there, hard to see. So yeah, all done. Now we're going to move on down there. All right, so we are all set to get this lintel in. Again, we're just doing that detail there. Block, brick, block. Easy peasy. What do you reckon to my scaffold? It's good, isn't it? <laughs> I'm sure people love to watch me struggle on this job. What a joke. Anyway, no time to moan. Let's get on with it. So just to keep you in the loop really, um, where was I last week? Last week, Monday, I was doing that wall and then I was all over uh, in Leicester after the week doing an extension. If you follow me on Instagram, um, you'll probably get little updates of what actually I'm doing. I only really make videos on projects I find quite interesting or I'm solely working on myself. Um, but a couple of little things coming up which will be interesting. Uh, got a 28 meter wall, six foot solid with pillars to build. Uh, that's pretty much ready to go. I might even have my own super to build. Um, I've agreed to it. So I'm just waiting to see some drawings and things like that. So that'll be interesting. I think it's, uh, it's quite big, actually, in all fairness. So that'll keep me busy.
<laughs> I love that. I love that. That's got to say, I didn't know Nick's kids had been up here colouring in for you. <laughs> oh, dear. I'll show you this. I have got a drawing to work to. But the customer's just come out, bless her. <laughs> and done this little artist impression just of uh, what sort of brick detail she wants to marry up with the or the gable end and things like that <laughs> just made me chuckle I love things like that it's good isn't it anyway it is what time is it it is you see that it is five to one I didn't get my boards or scaffolding until about half ten so this is the stage we are at. Done that down there, this here. Just got to do to this uh, window reveal, this window reveal here, because uh, as you just saw from the artist impression, that gable is gonna be like that. So we're gonna have some fancy steel work. And then all I've gotta do is just put this lintel on and a bit of stuff over that. And then I'll continue doing some block work on this retaining wall should see me out for today lovely jubbly yeah overall it's going pretty well saying oh that's spot on that is mint bearing what are we saying for bearing 270 300 290. Damn. Right, there we go. So, pretty much all the lintels are sat on. Just going to run a course of block over that. Do the tray detail, which you've seen a couple of times now. So, yeah, not going too bad at all. realized people are very particular about their weep holes and cavity tray which is sound understandable but in my head as long as it's in and they're working and clear it don't matter too much what do you think what 10 15 years ago we weren't even using tray and weep holes but uh, yeah as long as they're in people get People are very particular about it. I don't know what you think's in your cavity. It's not a river. It's just to let out a bit of moisture. Because your house is now, nowadays, are so airtight that you just get moisture in your cavity from all the carbon dioxide and just the general air you breathe out. So it's mainly just to let that condensation out. It's not a river running down your cavity. I'm pretty sure. I've still never seen a weep hole work. There's a big difference as well between what I'm allowed to do on privates. Well, it's probably more lenient of what I can do on privates with my tray lintels and weep holes compared to 
what you're allowed to do on site. I know on site they are really keen on lintels and cavity trays and everything being nice. And privates, it's just... Sometimes they can see it, they're not too bothered. block work coming over on a lintel don't even try and tap it wait for it to go off a little bit and then tap it to the right spot because otherwise you'll have the old job down is low. That's forgivable. Right, there we go. We have done for today. Sat all the lintels on. Went pretty well in all fairness. So I didn't get my scaffold boards till about half ten. Not too bad at all. So we set all the lintels at the right height. Set the height for the joist inside which is top of that brick inside um just a little what a uh, little note a couple of videos ago i made sure that i ran this through dry i'm sure i made a video about uh, us talking about it so when i went over with my block work above i had no cuts in it and as you can see there are no cuts in it everything works bond above i know it's only block work but it's nice to make sure everything's good tray we poles all sorted all in um so yeah that is pretty much me done don't know when i'll be back here um but yeah sand catch you next one